One of the latest innovations for us is the use of flying UAVs or drones within the footprint of our construction site for a number of reasons, not just to take photographs and, and filming. It's, it's good for media, it's good for promoting the projects, but we're looking at fitting different devices to the drones, i.e. infrared imaging, thermal imaging. So we then start to think about looking at potential non-intrusive maintenance or if you need to survey a high location instead of installing all the scaffolding associated and all the paperwork that goes with that and all the risks of working at that height then in a controlled environment you send a drone up with thermal imaging and or with cameras or any other kind of device that makes those observations safely and in less time and in, in a more controlled environment. 3D modelling it was there at the beginning because that's how we designed the stations in a model, but we've been adding layers. We have an environmental layer, um, and it just gives you a whole new way of using a model. Normally, you would find a designer or a coordinator, and CAD people tend to stick to the model, and everyone else looks at it and goes, oh, that's nice. But now we actually get to use it, bringing in 3D PDF format, you send a PDF to someone with an image of the model and then when you open that up you can actually move that picture around so it, it brings a PDF document to life and it brings it a lot closer to the people that are actually out there building the station because you tend not to come into an office environment so therefore they don't have the, the screens in front of them with the model floating around so now we can take it out to them on iPads or on, on, on other devices. So now we can show the model of that particular area that we've just constructed and move it around in 3D space whilst we're on site. So we've taken that technology to site. The catapult, this event, I've already found that I'm already on the same wavelength as the keynote speakers talking about what the future could hold and what technologies could come in and what the pitfalls are. It's interesting for me, coming from my background, to, to actually know that we are all kind of connected on on that level regardless of what we're doing and, and and where we happen to be in the industry it's also knowing that someone else exists that might have that solution to your problem is not that far away the technology is there you know the inkling to do it is there it's just getting people together in order to work so that's kind of what i would like to figure out or learn if anyone's got a good idea for enhancing collaboration.